No veil. We have a veil. No veil and a veil. So one type of question that comes in sometimes from professionals regarding any kind of new optic that's out that they're interested in is can it see, uh, depending on the optical configuration, how are things wired, especially in a digital unit like this, which is a thermal, there's a computer that interprets the image in here. This is from one leaf. This is the Mars MT-1000 LRF. Um, but the computer interprets, interprets the image. There's also a lens here. This is a 50 millimeter lens on here now. Depending on the configuration, different optics, different, especially digital optics, will have a different ability to see through like a veil, okay? So if you're shooting from underneath a veil, okay, we have two different kinds we're going to test. We got this type, okay, and we have more of a mosquito netting type, very thin. So can this see through a veil? If so, how clearly? You're going to lose clarity, there's no doubt but is it functional from underneath a veil? So that's what we're gonna to do today, a quick experiment. For full disclosure, this optic is adjusted to the medium position. There is a mode, there's not a contrast mode on here. There is a mode on here that is called sharp mode. So this one is set to the medium setting. It's, there's an off setting and then there's a maximum setting and then there's a middle one, which I think is called standard. So it's set to standard. Otherwise, everything else is focused in at the distance we're looking at, and uh, we're just going to see how this thing um, can look through a veil. Now, distance to the veil and all that kind of stuff will be variable. We're going to employ this in a similar fashion where it's just kind of draped over the front or you're immediately behind the veil, um, like in a firing position that you're uh, concealing yourself in. So let's see what we can find out. So test one, we have mid daylight conditions, 97 degrees Fahrenheit, a hot daytime environment where the solar heating causes most surfaces to reach similar temperatures. So like thermal imaging optics are gonna experience reduced thermal contrast, making object differentiation a bit more difficult. So we have our set standards set to sharp mode standard and our scene mode is set to rain, trying to duplicate having a little bit of water or obstructed lens. We'll see if that assists us. So I have a Type 2 hot weather jungle hat with a veil built into the front here, like a sniper's veil kind of deal. And we're going to see how this one leaf MT-1000 LRF performs looking through this. Now how the computer interprets the image, I have no idea. We'll find out. Ready? I'm just going to put this on, maybe it's kind of deployed like this, and then I'll just drape this over the front. Alright, we got a lot of movement here, hold on, it's pretty windy. So that's what I'm seeing. So here's with the veil, no veil, veil, no veil, veil, no veil. So now if you can see the barrels there. We don't got anything of super high thermal contrast at the moment, but that's how it's looking there. Okay, we are changing directions now, looking at a little bit different of a backdrop. Ready? No veil, veil, no veil, veil, no veil. Now let's get the laser going. Pretty sure that's going to mess with it. Okay. No veil. Veil. Yeah. No veil. Takes about a second and a half for it to recalibrate. So. No veil. So that laser is calibrating every second or so. Okay. 
interesting experiment. Looking at a vehicle, the mosquito netting veil. Right now we have none veiled. No veil. We have a veil. No veil and a veil. With the veil we're still able to see full detail on the uh, Toyota emblem. We can read the brand name on my bumper. <laughs> okay. So there's the veil and without. Okay, let's try a heavier type veil. No veil, veil, no veil, veil, no veil, veil. So you can completely veil your position and still decently see through this optic, not near as clear as maybe before. Now distance is going to change a little bit. But there you have it. 